Welcome to the series of CompTIA Security Plus training videos uh, regarding the CompTIA Security Plus certification. Before we get into the CompTIA Security Plus courses and the uh, content, it's important to talk about why uh, you have to take the, the Security Plus into cybersecurity. What is cybersecurity? Why? What are some required skills? What is what does the role of a security analyst look like? And what's the, uh, the what are the different paths to become a cybersecurity analyst? So what is cybersecurity? Um, as you can guess, it includes, you know, protection, like the NIST, they define cybersecurity as the ability to defend the cyberspace from cyber attacks. And uh, uh, our other definitions still include the word protect. So technologies and processes used to protect networks and information from unauthorized access. So anything that involves hacking, um, and all the, the terms that you hear, usually hear in cybersecurity. Now, the problem that arises is that the cyberspace, cyberspace grows faster than cybersecurity. What does that mean? More people every day have new smartphones, new smart uh, TVs, smart devices, smart fridges, smart everything. And we need more security for all those devices because as long as you're connected to a network, you can be breached, you can be broken into. So cyber, cyber criminals are becoming more sophisticated. Cyber attacks are taking so many different forms that you will see uh, while preparing for the certification. So we need more cybersecurity analysts, more skilled cybersecurity analysts. So what are some of the uh, what is the what are some of the few roles that the security analysts can have? Uh, ensuring the security of an organization's assets, as you can guess, uh, uh, by doing what by monitoring networks by investigating incidents, by conducting assessments to see which uh, devices and systems are good and which ones are you know, not good, by developing security policies, and a lot more. These are just to name a few. There are so many responsibilities. And what are some of the skills required to succeed in cybersecurity? You have technical skills, of course, technical skills, understanding of computer systems, of networks, of security technologies, when we talk about a term like an IP address, you have to know what that means. When we talk about vulnerability assessment, you have to know what what um, a term like that means. Analytical skills, you have to be able to identify, analyze large sets of data and identify which parts are risky and which parts are uh, safe. So I look at large set of data and be able to analyze uh, trends. Communication skills, it doesn't, you can be the most technical, technically savvy in the world, but you have to be able to convey your ideas to a non-technical audience, and that's that comes with you know presentations, dashboards, graphs, layouts, communication, written, oral, and um, and written, and problem-solving skills. You have to be able to identify problems and solve them. So why is cybersecurity important? As previously mentioned, to protect data like uh, personal information and financial information, of course, to ensure business continuity. We will talk about this as well during the training. So a cyber attack can shut down the business and can cause financial losses and reputational damage. So what do you do during a, a cyber attack? Do you just close the business or do you find a way to continue operating while taking back your systems online? It's important because it, bo it boosts customer trust. If I know that the company is practicing cybersecurity, I will trust them more with my data than a company that doesn't practice cybersecurity. And it also provides a competitive advantage because you're less likely to have disruptions, to have losses, to experience outages when you have a good cybersecurity strategy. So what are the different ways to become a cybersecurity analyst? There are different paths. First, by, by getting a degree at a, a higher organization, this is usually the most common path. It can be technical depending on the path you take, and it usually costs upwards of $50,000 uh, for uh, a master's or a bachelor's. You have uh, people who transition with experience. They can either be in IT or a related field, uh, uh, audit auditing, and uh, they transition. They change their careers. You need a good amount of experience uh, for that of professional experience. And there are also certifications, which is the shortest path. It's the path that most people, uh, that a lot of people take, sorry, and it can cost anywhere between two to $5,000 with the cost of training, cost of taking the exam, 
and certification show specific knowledge. We have certifications, yeah, for many of them. Uh, on our Instagram page, we have a video that shows a few certifications in cybersecurity, like CISSP, CISA, CC, uh, CEH, uh, just to name a few. All right, guys, was that interesting? If so, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on all our social media platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, to know more and be the first people to see our amazing content that we have for you. Thanks, guys. We're glad to have you.